Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna make Chinese stir fry shredded pork. So for ingredients, let's check down below. All right guys, so here we have 500 grams of pork tenderloin. We have chili bean space. We have white eggs. We have black vangus, garlic, ginger, vinegar, salt, corn flour or maizena, black pepper, sugar, green pepper, carrots, spring onion, sesame oil, Chinese cooking wine, dark soy sauce, and light soy sauce. So the first step, you wanna cut like a matchstick approximately, so it's julienne, carrots, the green pepper, and spring onion. So you wanna cut it about this long, like a matchstick. So we're gonna do this to the carrots and we're gonna do this for the green pepper also. All right guys, so for green pepper, just cut it in half and then I open like this and clean all the seeds inside and it's gonna make easier to shred it pretty much. For the green onion, I'm gonna make it in two parts. The white part, which is I'm gonna fry with the uh, garlic and ginger. And then the green part, I'm gonna use it for garnishing. So for the white part, just chop finely. What I have here, six cloves of garlic. So you wanna chop finely also. Same thing with the ginger. Ginger, I have about 15 gram. So you wanna chop finely also with the uh, garlic. All right guys, so that's done. Let's put it aside for now and we're gonna move to the uh, pork. Actually, before you go to, uh, to process the meat, I completely forgot about the black fungus. So you wanna shred it this. Just shred it. For the pork, you just wanna cut between one to two centimeters and then you cut it again or slice it thinly like a matchstick just like that transfer it to a bowl and we're gonna make a season so we're gonna cut this out to make your life easier you can froze the meat in the freezer for about 45 minutes before you cut it so it's gonna be much much more easier so you want to cut pretty much like the other ingredients. So after you cut them all, you want to season this with a little bit of salt, about one teaspoon half teaspoon of black pepper a little bit of light soy sauce about two tablespoon and then one teaspoon dark soy sauce just to make it the color two tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine and about one tablespoon of oil mix it with your hand 
when it's evenly mixed like this I'm gonna put one of egg white and then about two tablespoons of corn flour and then mix it again when you don't mix this evenly just put it on the side we're gonna marinate this between 15 minutes to 30 minutes while we're waiting we're gonna make the sauce for the uh, pork in a mixing bowl for the sauce you want to put five tablespoon of sugar two tablespoon Chinese cooking wine Shashing wine one tablespoon of light soy sauce and then half tablespoon of dark soy sauce two tablespoon of vinegar and then just mix it over here I have about three tablespoons of oil. Put it on the high heat, and when it's reached the smoking point, you just wanna cook your meat first. After you cook this for about 5 minutes, just turn off the heat and then transfer it to a bowl or to a plate. After the meat, the second one, we're gonna stir fry the carrots. Make sure again, this time you put it on a medium heat. Make sure the oil is hot. When it's hot, you just put the carrots. And you want to stir fry this for about two to three minutes. After about two minutes, turn off the heat and then transfer it to bowl. So you know, the wok's still hot, so I'm gonna put another about 1-2 uh, tablespoon of oil and then you can add ginger, garlic and the white part of uh, the uh, green onion. I'm gonna fry this for a minute. I'm using medium heat. So it doesn't burn the uh, garlic. After a minute, when it all became fragrant, add the chili bean paste. And stir fry again. It will take about a minute. And I change the heat to medium high heat. After a minute, put it back to pork, and I'm gonna mix them out pretty much. After a few seconds, I wanna add carrot, thin pepper and the black fungus and 
and I'm gonna stir fry this for about two minutes with high heat. After two minutes, then you start putting the sauce. And then cook again, mix them up. You need about like a minute or so. So after a minute, this is all done. Turn off the heat. We're gonna transfer it to a bowl, but I'm gonna give it a try. Last step, you wanna drizzle with sesame oil. And then put green onion on top. All right, so now we're gonna go back up here. We're gonna give it a try and see what we think. All right, so let's do it. So first I'm gonna mix the uh, sesame oil and the green onion. Bye. It's very nice. You can taste the ginger, taste the sweetness, a little bit spicy. So if you like sweet and spicy food, sweet and spicy taste, this is probably the one for you. We're gonna give it a try with the rice. In my opinion, just eat with the rice. Rice make it all balanced, make it all perfect. Very, very well done. So, give it a try, guys, and uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please give us a like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe and share, please. Thank you for watching for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.